What is up, my bodyweight warriors? Welcome back to another vlog. It is now about 8.30. I've just had a meeting with my dissertation because he's an early morning person. Yeah. I only head back to the house now, grab some coffee, and then start my day. As well as the coffee, this is when I have some other supplements. So I usually have a glass of water with Vitsi, salt, apple cider vinegar, and creatine. I take three grams of creatine every single day. I don't cycle it, that's just how much I take. And then I have fermented cod liver oil, which has, with butter oil, so that's all your fat soluble vitamins. I also take a Vit D and K2 supplement, which goes with that. And then finally, I take half a serving of some omega 3s. And that is my morning snack. Supplements are taken for the morning. We've got coffee and read. My usual daily stoic is literally like a two minute read, but it just gives you something to think about while you're drinking your coffee. And then we can get on with some work. It's now like 20 past 11 or something. Uh, we've been working for a couple of hours. Now time to grab some food. For all those that wonder why I don't make cooking videos yet, that is the reason. It's not the best of kitchens. What we are now going to make is a Thai infused kind of bone broth thing. Here I've got some fish stock that I made the other day. Usually I would make this with like a chicken stock or a bone broth. There is one really important ingredient that I've forgotten. These guys, I make my own uh, Thai like paste, which is what this is. Uh, and I will be making a video about this in the near future because it is literally my favorite thing, but just need one of these. Just this little guy. Cool, we're good to go. Thai broth is that this is literally one of my favorite things to make. I literally make it probably most days or some sort of variation of it. Lots of good fats, a good amount of protein, loads of veggies, and it's absolutely delicious. There is one thing that you may notice and that is that this meal is pretty low carb. There's a reason for that. I follow two simple rules when it comes to nutrition. There's more than two, but two basic rules. One, carb backloading. This means you have fat and protein and veggies basically before you work out, and then protein, carbohydrates, veggies, and a little bit of fat after you work out. Very simple partitioning of nutrients. On this protocol, you should be training in the evening, so that means in the day I'll eat fat and protein. I'll train, and then I'll have protein and carbs after I train, very simple. The second is you've got to earn your carbs. And what I mean by this is I adjust my carbohydrate intake based on an output based on what I'm training. So for me, today is gonna be a rest day. I will do some sort of movement later on, probably a mobility routine and some handstands. So my carbohydrate intake is gonna be relatively low simply because I'm not using that much. However, if I was to do maybe like a high intensity full body workout, I probably would have a good amount of carbohydrates that day to refuel from an intense session. This is what I do generally, but this is also how I'm gonna approach my cut. I'm not gonna change a huge amount from what I would usually do, except on my rest days, like you're gonna see today, I'm gonna to go extremely low carb, maybe towards the like 50, 70 gram range. And then that should allow me to still remain relatively normal in terms of intake on my training days. Hopefully that'll give me a nice balance. We're gonna see where it goes, how it tips the scales and how I feel on the form. Eat this and then carry on with work. my favorite time of day, we're gonna make more coffee.
kind of like my treat for the day. They're like cappuccino and some dark chocolate, both of which are like, eh, they're kind of fine. I'm gonna now do like another hour's work and then we're gonna go do some mobility, handstand training outside. And then guess what, more food. It's now 3.30, I'm done for the moment of work. I need to go and move, although, it's looking a bit grey. Still cold at the moment, it's like hmm, five degrees-ish, so it's a mobility session, general movement session, and probably some handstand work, so let's go have some play. I'm just at like a basketball court. It's relatively local. Today we are doing my full body mobility routine which I'll put a link to in the description down below and I'm also doing functional movement hacks like overhead mobility uh, routine. The guy gave me the program for free for full disclosure and there is a discount link you get 30% off the program if you want. I don't make any money off this I'm not promoting it I've only just started trying it but it's quite cool. Lots of dynamic kind of full body um, engaged movement so it's interesting. I'm only on day two of week one currently so I'll keep you posted with how that one works but on to the session. <laughs> training. I think it's now time to get that post-workout sort of like snack. This is where I'm going to have my majority of the carbohydrates that I'm going to eat today. So there will be some fruit and different bits and bobs in there. Let's grab it. If you want a bit more explanation, we have yogurt, cinnamon, maca powder, whey protein, then banana, berries, nut butter, coconut, and everything else. Actually, it's not that bad. It's not super high in carbohydrates, actually, because those berries are like six grams of carbs per hundred grams. It's winter where you are and you can get frozen berries, really highly recommend it. I forgot to mention I've also got a glass of coconut water because it's good for rehydrating and it's just kind of a nice like sweet drink. It's now like half six, just been doing a little bit of work and also answering an interview for the Mover Mag, which if you haven't heard of, a magazine focused around movers and different styles of movement just they just post some interesting stuff they got some good tips and it's really nicely designed I'm gonna finish that off and then grab the final meal of the day probably around seven ish and then that's it and we're done time for dinner i'm gonna cook like kind of a chicken salad sort of thing i've got leftover roasted chicken i've got some leftover slow roasted carrots i'm gonna throw it all together with a little bit of olive oil a little bit of balsamic vinegar just a simple, delicious salad. Check that bad boy out. That looks so freaking good. We've got some chicken, we've got bacon, we've got avocado, we've got some raw cheese, which... Charles, Charles, I don't know. If you do not like this cheese, then unfortunately we can't be friends. Macros for that are on the screen. I'm now gonna eat that, it is 
And that's kind of it for the day. Last episode, we had kind of just a pure training vlog. Today was like a pure food vlog. In the future, it's gonna be a bit of everything. So I don't count macros I did for today because I'm sharing with you my nutrition, what I'm doing, and I think it might be insightful for some people. Uh, but the end of the day macros will be on the bottom of the screen now. Pretty sure it was less than like 100 grams of carbs here or there. I uh, don't know about the calories, good amount of protein, good amount of fat, plenty of delicious vegetables and all of that good stuff. As always guys, if you have any questions or have an opinion to share, then please leave it in the comment section down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode, this pure food vlog. Last vlog we had the training only, today is the food only. In the future it's going to be a combination of the two and kind of tips where they are needed. Hit that like button and support the channel. Uh, if you have a friend who you think would enjoy this video then please share it with them. But that's been it for today guys. Have a strong and nutritious week. Peace.